Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, we got some unboxings to do. First and foremost, I hope everybody is doing well. I hope y'all are ready for December. I'm super stoked. I'm actually gonna be going on a little trip very soon. So if you guys wanna follow me and watch my little vlogs about where I'm traveling to and all of that good stuff, you can go ahead and check the link down below in the description. That'll be my vlog channel where I do all of that like daily life stuff. And I'll give you a little bit of insight about what I do when I'm not on this channel. So. Make sure to check that out, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And today we're gonna be doing about uh, three unboxings and I have a couple other things that I already unboxed a while back that I never showed you guys. So I hope y'all are ready. Let's get it. We're gonna start off with this package right here. This one is from one of our subscribers. Real quick, I get this message a lot and it's always like, man, Alex, where can I send you some stuff? Give me your postal address, let me see what's good. And I'm like, man, you don't have to send me anything. I really do appreciate the gesture, but if you guys really wanna send something, I'll do it and I'll unbox it on this channel for you guys. So you can just hit me up in my email. This one is from the homie Glizzy Diecast. I have an idea of what's inside, but I don't really know specifically, so. Let's crack this baby open. We're gonna be using the handy dandy knife today. Link will be in the description if you guys are trying to purchase this. I get a lot of questions about this knife right here. It's super cheap, it's like 10 bucks. Let's see what is inside. Again, I have an idea, but at the same time, you know, it could be anything in here. This man could have put a flashlight in here for all I know. So, we really don't know. We're gonna crack this thing, thing open. And what the heck? Oh my goodness, bro. Oh my God. How do I even? Okay, I'm just gonna dump it like this. There's a lot of stuff in here. Holy hell. Oh, shiz. Whoa. All right, guys, let's inspect this little thing that we have going on right here. But first things first, we gotta do a little ASMR. A lot of peanuts. Okay, I'm gonna open this letter first. All right, so it says Glizzy X S I N T B. What's good, bro? My name is Cordell. I just wanna say I'm a huge fan and love the videos, bro. Nothing crazy, but hope you enjoy this care package to show my appreciation. Thank you for the laughs and good times. Keep on grinding and get the GTR of your dreams. Much love. There is his personal IG and I'll also leave his diecast ig as well all this will be linked down below huge thanks to you man i really appreciate it like i said again you guys really don't have to send me stuff like this like this is a lot of stuff right here it's cool to see that in a way the work that we're doing here is not going unnoticed so i really appreciate you man i love these things back in the day i would have a whole collection of these so it's cool to have them again let's take a closer look at the cards that he sent i'm gonna kind of remove the packaging real quick and uh check this thing out I mean, it looked like a lot inside the box, but after laying them out, my guy added a bunch of sick whips in this one. So let's take a quick little look at everything that he gave. Look at that. Old 1982 Nissan Skyline. We got the DeLorean, Datsun. You know my guy keeps me laced with the GTRs. This is sick. And I believe there's one more. Yep, right here. Another GTR, R33. Oh my goodness, yeah. So sick. We're getting a nice little Skyline GTR collection right here. Comment down below if you guys ever collected Hot Wheels when you were a kid or at least had a Hot Wheel when you were a kid. Civic Type R, Ford Fiesta, Ford Focus, 350Z. We got the Porsche right here. Another Skyline. Yes. And another one. Bro. This is so cool. You guys can't probably tell right now, but I'm super hyped. Like I really dig this kind of stuff and I like to collect cars and stuff like that. So even now I have some pieces from, you know, the Fast and Furious. They sell them at Target, but I collect these things, man. This is the car that started it all, man. This has kind of got me into the whole car scene and everything like that. After this movie dropped and I saw it for the first time when I was a little kid, this is the car that got me started. So it's like, man, one day I want to own something like this. GTR is a lot of people's dream car, and man. I'm trying to push for it one day, one day. I even got this one right here, the R35 GTR. I have the Liberty Walk kit one as well. Oh, oh, it's moving. It's moving. Ah. There's also the Fast and Furious Toyota Super in this. A lot of great cars, man. Thank you so much. It looks like this is the BMW i8. Pretty nice. This guy put the LMAO in this one. I have no idea what's inside. 
It's about to be a mini flashlight. Bruh. <laughs> what the hell? My guy sent me an Oscar Mayer. Oscar Mayer wiener. Dude, this is too funny. Once again, man, thank you so much. Huge shout out to Glizzy Diecast slash Cordell. I really appreciate this package right here. It kind of brought me back to when I was a kid, when we were going to like Walmart and see these things. So I really can't thank you enough. And I can't thank the subscribers that watch these videos. It always means the most to me when I see you guys support. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. Next up on the chopping block, we have a pair of sneakers. Let's pop these things open. See the knife anywhere? Lost the interesting box man interesting box you guys see it man pink nike sb box this is the newer version of it we have a size 10 and a half pair of the nike sb dunk low pro og quick strike hundred dollar retail white chrome white nike sb tiffany dunks this is my first time actually seeing this sneaker in hand and I was really curious to see how the quality is with this sneaker right here. I ended up getting two black pairs and adding this white one to the collection as well. Comment down below what you think your boy is about to do to this pair right here. You never know but uh, I feel like something great is coming with these right here. Nice icy sole. One with the size 10 and a half with this pair right here. And I kind of want to throw these on to see if they feel like the newer SBs or if they kind of feel like the old SBs. The new ones feel a little bit stiff but this pair actually has decent quality leather it's not super stiff or anything like that and it does give I think there's a little shoe tree in here so I'm gonna get that out and see how this leather feels a lot of people were able to come through and get this pair and surprisingly if you guys want to buy I think that now is the time to buy they were about 210 220 a couple days after these dropped and now these shoes or at least the black versions are going for 160 170 ish depending on the price so not too bad at all I got this pair off of I think a homie on Instagram you see I didn't pay too much of a resale price on this but how to do it a little bit okay Mmm. Okay. That's not bad, actually. I really thought that these would feel kind of like the newer release, but these are actually starting to kind of come back like the way that they used to be. Don't mind my other foot. Don't mind my other foot. You know, the Tiffany SBs are an iconic dunk, so... I had to add these ones to my collection. Quick hint, I don't really like how plain these are. So hopefully that gives you guys an idea about what I'm gonna do to these. There used to be a little part of the ankle that would cup your ankle in, but they don't have it on this pair right here, but it's all good. Pretty nice shoe, clean colorway. One of the last pickups that we have today is from Complex Con. I had to get it shipped to me because it was just too hard to carry this on the plane and they offered a shipping option, so I had to do it. This is my primary pickup of Complex Con because I wasn't really getting any other things. Got a little skate deck collection this oh a Herschel Murakami bag I did not order this it just came with it pretty nice this is definitely going on the site bless one of you guys with this for those of you guys asking for where the site is and if you guys want to buy merchandise and all of that good stuff I have brand new infamous hoodies that are on the way and they're featuring a GTR. Put a little teaser on it right here, boom. Follow me on Instagram if you guys want a little notification about when those drop. But I've been working on creating a new site for you guys, doing a whole new layout, adding a ton of inventory that I didn't add before. And I just want you guys to know that because the old big cartel is not going to be used anymore. It's going to be a different website. The website is going to be shopsoltopia.com. It is not live yet, so you don't even need to try. Uh, going for anything on there, but I'll keep you guys updated via Instagram. So make sure you're following me at sneakerhead in the bay On there if you guys like the shop you guys have ordered before that is what happened to the site So we're just doing a quick move I've been designing a lot of stuff been uh, Putting this website together and it's pretty much almost done. I'm just waiting on a couple more things. So stay tuned for that. Ooh Man Murakami always just kills it with the dope colors. That's one of my favorite things about Murakami. All right. 
for display purposes only for these three boards it was five hundred dollars so pretty pricey on this set right here i've seen some sell on ebay for over a thousand some for eight some for nine it just depends on who you're selling these to so this is something i appreciate it's a really nice piece of art if you guys like hanging boards on the wall as y'all can see i love doing that that's about it guys if you guys like this video make sure to hit that like button subscribe if you're not subscribed already and also let me know if you like these unboxings down below i haven't had this much fun doing an unboxing in a while and i actually got really hyped for all this stuff right here maybe we should bring the unboxings back i don't know you guys let me know i'll catch you guys very soon i have a couple more customs coming up so i hope y'all are ready for it it's sneakerhead in the bay see you guys next time i'm out peace i said i'm driving mercedes my windows not tinted they look at me crazy i ride through my city i talk to that bitch like look what you made me we came from the base